Good morning, Aiden. Nice to actually have you to have a good uh, kind of a fireside chat on data. Oh, thank you for having me. It's, it's wonderful. Uh, I know, Aiden, that you have actually had an illustrious uh, career spanning across different organizations, different cultures. Uh, wanted to kind of uh, understand how have you been able to kind of weave this experience together uh, in the function that you are actually currently undertaking at DNB as the CDO? Yes. Do you know, it's interesting when, because uh, I was actually headhunted into DMB, and I asked them the question, why did you pick me in the end? Um, and the answer I got, which I thought was very interesting, is that they were more interested in my change management skills. So I think they acknowledged that though this is a technical competency, they're more interested in actually the ability for someone to actually install or integrate change into the organization. And I think that came from all of the experience that I've worked at across all of the roles I've had in my career. And that's, that's wonderful. And uh, since uh, you've actually taken the role of the CDO mm -hmm. at the bank, uh, what would be the key task that the uh, CDO would actually undertake in the financial services industry? Could I just take a step back on that one for a minute? Because it's interesting that I always like, being a data person, I like to always present a stat. Um, and I saw an amazing stat uh, from Gartner that said, 80% of financial services organizations would be irrelevant in the next 10 to 12 years. That's just a remarkable statistic. And it got me thinking about why that might be. Um, and there were basically three challenges that I could see that financial institutions were facing. One was new market entrance from the big tech and the fintechs. The second one would be uh, really demanding customers, actually requiring banks to be more responsive and doing more of what the big techs are doing, like real-time uh, uh, delivery of services. And the third one would be reg enforcement. Um, and actually underpinning all of this is, is data, from what I can see. So I think my role as CDO um, is prim primarily to uh, get the organization to understand what those challenges are and actually put into place uh, a practical plan that can actually address them, all three of them. I definitely agree. And that actually brings me to an interesting kind of a point that uh, the, the role of the chief data officer has actually come into existence in the last few years. Yep. And uh, the industry has always been accustomed to kind of see C-level executives from the business perspective. Uh, when you are actually amidst the, the CEOs of the lines of businesses or the CEO of the entire organization, how do they view your inputs, which at times could actually be at odds with certain kind of business models that they need to kind of put in place? I would probably turn it around. I think if I'm not resonating with them, I'm not communicating properly. I mm -hmm. think as soon, that's probably going back to the other question, the biggest challenge is making sure that I'm, because I'm a quite technical person when it comes to data and it's a technical topic. If I'm not resonating and getting business executives to understand why data is so important to what they're doing, then I'm failing. And that's actually the lesson I've learned is making sure that you're presenting the topics in a way that the business can understand. And, and that's, you always have to keep reiterating and reevaluating the messages that you're giving. And if it doesn't resonate, then you have to keep trying. Um, so I would answer your question directly to say, um, it's been hard work, but I've managed to connect with the business level executives to understand that data is intrinsic to everything they're doing in their digital channels. And understanding the flow of data in their business process is the only way that they're going to reconnect with their customers. Absolutely. And in many ways, you're actually helping them to kind of keep their business yes. uh, risk aversive and actually kind of yes. having the regulators off their back. That's right. That's right. And it's all about data. I think that's the realization again. The bottom line is that they've the organization, not individuals, but the entire organization's understanding that data, again, is intrinsic to everything that we do. Maybe the final question from my side would be that uh, uh, while you're actually kind of navigating uh, your organization through these kind of challenges and interesting yeah. period, yeah. Uh, if you had to actually kind of uh, roll the clock back, and if I had to ask you the question that, uh, uh, knowing how much you know about data and knowing about uh, how much you know about DNB right now, yeah. if you had to kind of uh, overlay the entire strategy on data management once again, what would you actually change? You're saying what, what mistakes I made, is that what you're basically <laughs> saying? Um, that's a very good question. I think it's also uh, 
What lessons learned would I have? I think my lesson learned is even though I acknowledged the importance of communication and, and cultural transformation, starting with culture, I think I would double up on how much communication that I'd done. I thought I'd done a lot, but I think, again, you can't do enough. So I think it would be communicate, communicate, communicate. And what's the, the rule in marketing? I think you have to, the rule of seven. Yeah, uh, You've got to communicate seven times. And I think I probably did it three times and it's not enough. You really do need to do it seven times. Um, and again, I think probably underestimating the time needed to reinvent how you respond to the business, making it relevant to the business. So making sure that everything you're doing, how do I reframe this? Maybe I started a bit too technical. Mm -hmm. You have to start with the business relevancy. If it's not resonating with the business, you're, you're not going to win. I mean, I think we succeeded, but it took a lot more time than I thought for me to reframe the why and be less technical and more business oriented. I, I think you have summed it up really well in terms of uh, trying to achieve uh, and, and amplify the power of data. Yeah. You need to kind of look at it from the lens of the business, not, right. not technology. Yeah. And I think uh, the point in terms of navigating that through the organization, reimagining that entire kind of uh, uh, the philosophy and the benefit, you need to kind of uh, stress a lot on communication. So I think uh, great points made, fascinating conversation. Uh, thank you so much and, and thank you for uh, being uh, a wonderful partner. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's been fun. Thank, thank you. you.